And welcome back, dear viewers. Coronavirus continues to spread across the world in a manner that might cause fear and panic, resulting from the limited information available. True, in addition to the fact that no effective cure has been founded so far. Of course, some causes shows complete recovery, which is reassuring thing. To talk about this subject, we are glad to have with us here in the studio, Dr. Walid Al-Ali, Associate Professor of Epidemiology, Chairperson of Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics, Faculty of Public Health, Kuwait University. So he's with us here, doctor, in the studio. Of course, he is one of the really uh, good guys I met a long time ago. And uh, with his experience and knowledge, I think we're going to have a beautiful interview. But before we do that, let's have a little report and then come back and say hi to Dr. Walid and starting our interview with him. Go. First, they can infect the respiratory tract, meaning the nose, mouth, throat, sinuses, or lungs. There are many types of coronaviruses and most cause only mild illness such as the common cold. But some coronaviruses can cause severe illness. The most likely way people can become infected is by droplets that contain the virus. These droplets carry the virus into the air and can enter through the nose, mouth, throat and lungs of a person who is within 6 feet or 2 meters. The virus infects the lungs, causing the lungs to become inflamed. The alveolar sacs have to be healthy for the body to breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Infection of the virus causes damage to the cells of the lungs and triggers an inflammatory reaction. Fever may develop. With severe inflammation, inflammatory fluid fills the lungs. This reduces the function of the alveoli, resulting in coughing and difficulty breathing. The oxygen level in the blood may decrease. In some people who become severely ill, other organs may be affected, such as the kidneys or the heart. Our viewers, we, we thank really Dr. Walid Al-Ali to be here as a guest on uh, our episode today of Sunshine Program. Welcome, Dr. Walid, and uh, we can see the smile coming from your face. You know, that means you are ready for our interview. Yes, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. I am ready. Yes. Uh, uh, epidemiology, a big word, especially important word, Amal, in this time. Yes. What does mean? And let, let's see uh, uh, for the viewers, what's epidemiology mean? Sure, well, first of all, good morning and thank you for having me. Thank you. And good morning to our viewers. Um, you know, epidemiology, you know, the word itself, epidemiology comes from the Latin word. Uh, epidemiology is actually two words, epidemi and then ology. Uh, the second part of it is ology, which is science. Uh, and the first word means the prevalence of diseases, comes from a Greek word. Um, so it's basically, it's the, the science, it's a branch of medicine and public health. That it's a science that deals with the studying, studying of the distribution of the disease and health determinants in, in the, at the population level. So understanding the distribution of disease, uh, understanding the risk factors or the causes of disease, and ways to assess and evaluate control measures or prevention measures for the, for the disease. Uh, so this is basically what epidemiology is, is about. Uh, doctor, this is this is leads us to a really a question. Uh, of course, uh, you are in Kuwait University, and I think part of of, of your uh, your work is is uh, to uh, give uh, public awareness through your job. So, what what your message to to people now while we are facing this coronavirus, vicious coronavirus, COVID nineteen? Well, I mean, there is there is a lot of messages. You know, again. We are the faculty of uh, public health, and I'm the, the, the chair for the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics. You know, as ac academicians, we are, you know, our mission is, is, is three things. Is one is teaching, so we teach 
our students on public health and in my area, epidemiology and infectious disease. Uh, we also do research in that area, uh, in infectious disease um, and the epidemiology part of it. And also we do service uh, to the community. So we, we raise awareness, uh, whether through me personally, our faculty and our students. And we communicate and work with the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders uh, to be able to, you know, um, provide our own expertise to them and work together for one goal, uh, which is improve the, uh, the public health in, in, in Kuwait. Excellent. Uh, focusing on, on COVID-19, the current disease, you know, we're, we're working with groups to do research uh, for COVID-19, better understand, so okay. the epidemiology of COVID-19. Going back to epidemiology, right? <laughs> to try to understand the you know the distribution and the trends of the disease and what's happening not only in Kuwait but also worldwide. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and also, how can we control it? What can we do? In addition to you know spreading the right message, uh, you know following on the steps of the Ministry of Health, you know, that's and, and what's going on over there. That's, 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 that's interesting, Doctor. So you do like a research for the diseases, epidemiology, it means, I mean, epidemic, and mm -hmm. we are in pandemic right now, sure, yeah. it's spread it globally. Uh, so, you know, you are studying the disease and how is it affecting everybody. But now we are in springtime and everybody is having either a springtime flu or mm -hmm. allergies exactly. and all mm -hmm. that uh, things going on. So how can we differentiate between the symptoms of corona virus and the springtime uh, allergies, the usual cold and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, that's a, this is a good question. How would you differentiate, you know, whether you have a flu, for, for instance, yeah. uh, or common cold, or is it the signs of the COVID-19? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are some similarities bet between the flu, for example, and, and COVID-19. The similarities are the dry cough and the fever. You know, the fever is one of the principal signs of any infectious disease. Then, so those are the similarities, there's a fever, c dry cough, but there are differences. And one of the unique thing about COVID-19 is that as the cases they develop, the, the experience shortness of breath and difficulty breathing. And this is something un somewhat of, of a distinguished COVID-19 compared to the, to the, the flu. While the, you know, the flu, is, there's more common that you see um, you know, uh, body ache, uh, headaches, uh, chills, you see this more often in flu compared to COVID-19, but COVID-19 you see more often the progression into um, you know, shortness of breath and difficulty breathing, which has to do with the virus itself. The virus goes to the lung okay. and, uh, and damages the, the cells and the defense system the lung. Also, yeah. uh, and, and, and um, because of the damages to the lung, that's what results is that you, know, you have a stress, uh, pulmonary stress. Mm -hmm. And that's stress because of the fluids in the lung and you're able, and then what, what the patient will experience in a severe case is, is difficulty breathing, shortness of breath. And that's why you need respirators and uh, ability to manage that, to, uh, to keep them patients in good health and be able for them to recover. Uh, doctor, uh, y you know, we uh, knew long time ago there is a plenty of different uh, viruses came to our lives. Yes. Uh, SARS, uh, Corona, uh, virus one, uh, now this is another one. There is uh, a lot of different viruses. W why why uh, this one is called the, 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 the killer or the vicious or the bad or the worse? Or, or they gave him a lot of names. Why? Um, I mean, I don't know. I would, I would call it the killer or the vicious. I think this is a you know, I try to avoid these words because mm -hmm. they create a little bit of fear among people, maybe an extra fear uh, and uh, scare among, among people. Uh, you know, the, the, the reason why, you know, you're asking why, uh, why this virus. You know, if you go back a little bit, we look at coronavirus. It's, you know, it's a family that has quite a bit of numbers of, of viruses and those, they circulate in the animal population. Mm -hmm. So those viruses, you know, they can be causing very mild disease, such as common cold. And if you know the common cold exactly. can be caused, not the only, but can be caused by some coronaviruses. But they can also cause some of them severe disease like the SARS and the MERS, right? And now we have the COVID-19. COVID uh, COVID uh, those viruses, again, they are zoonotic. What I mean zoonotic, that they transmit from animal to human. So okay. these are you know, pathogens that they, they spill over or they move from the animal to the human. They might not be originally, they might or might not be originally 
are pathogenic to the human, they are mm -hmm. just in the animal population. They might be causing disease in animal, or they might be not. That's right. Like some of, some of them, they are in the bats population, and they don't cause disease in the bat for some reason. But for, for uh, a, uh, due to certain conditions, environmental conditions, interaction between a human and animal, that virus can mutate and result into a spillover, what they call the spillover, that the now the virus is contagious or infectious to human. Okay. I think, I think Emil, uh, also there is a, 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 a beautiful question that came to my mind is uh -huh. why the doctor is here really and he is in charge of this type of, 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 of action. Uh, we want to ask you, doctor, uh, people now, they are afraid. Mm -hmm. They are panicking, mm -hmm. you know, and all of this. W what do you want to tell them uh, through the screen now? Uh, I'm, li like always, yes. I'm telling them uh, while they are seeing me now and uh, our viewers, I say, Diamond, don't panic, don't afraid, don't be afraid. Be strong, have a faith in God and follow the instruction of MOH. That is the, ma the main thing, I think. What's Dr. Walid Al-Ali want to say? Yeah, I, I, I completely agree is that no need to really panic. Um, no need to be, you know, afraid. You know, the uh, don't don't you know make sure that you're not you're listening to the message from the right source, Ministry of Health uh, or the, you know the World Health Organization. Uh, don't just listen to people saying that they are not an expert in the area, mm -hmm. and don't spread the message that comes to you and you just forward, like yeah. what we see in WhatsApp and on Twitter. People just keep forwarding things without making sure that this is a correct message or not. If you're not sure, ask. The second thing is that people need to um, follow the the uh, hygienic practices. You know, the washing hands and yeah. you know the uh, practice the um, you know respiratory you know hygiene practices. You know, follow those. Uh, you know, that, the social uh, distancing and exactly. you know, talk about mm -hmm. exactly. if you start developing symptoms, you're not sure. Seek medical advice. If the government asks you to you know, go through home quarantine or self-quarantine, do that do and that. follow that. Exactly. It's all important. You know, we, 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 you know, we're trying to keep the number of cases as low as possible so we don't overwhelm the healthcare system in Kuwait. We want to tell the, the viewers really, uh, while Dr. Walid is here, Ma'amal, the same message, which is when, yeah. uh, when they said, stay at home, stay at home. It, it's not a matter of, of fun, no. Is, is, is you have to stay at home because it's a very important matter. We don't need to have a contact. Each one has to stay at home, stay with your family and keep them around you. I think this is a good, a good thing to yes, say, Amel. That's right, doctor. And uh, I just had a question because you were and the doctor talking about rumors and everybody is giving like an advice of his uh, background legacy. or, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> legacy a lot of people nowadays just uh, a lot of messages mm -hmm. were saying that if you took the common fluid medicine uh, your fever will be down and and no, no temperature will be visible to any uh, device that will catch and you will nobody would know that are you infected of COVID-19 or you're not exactly. so is that true or not true uh, you know Again, COVID-19 is, is different than the, the, the flu. And, and when we talk about viral infection, uh, generally, um, there's no really of a medicine. What the medicines that people take is basically to reduce the symptoms, such as the fever or the ache, mm -hmm. you know, those painkillers or fever reducers and so on. Uh, for the flu, there is a medicine that's, uh, you know, the, um, that they take, uh, yes. Tamiflu, they take, and this is, it's not the same as antibiotics. This is what it does is that it reduces the loads of the virus in the body. And what it does is that it reduces some of the symptoms. It doesn't kill completely the virus, but it will reduce it so you're able to recover. Your immune system will be able to fight off the virus and then you will recover. So those medicine, you know, they're not effective on COVID-19. Uh, you know, of course, when, if, if somebody is, uh, is, is, is infected and showed symptom with COVID-19, of course, they need to take medication to reduce the, the, the symptoms. But again, you know, my advice is if, if you experience symptoms and you're not sure what it is, contact the authority, to contact, talk, you know, uh, contact your uh, medical provider and make sure that uh, this is not the flu, uh, that this is something. So if you're, if you may be a case, you need to be isolated uh, so you don't infect others.
I think I think Doctor, uh, your presence here is is a big gift for us uh, in, in our episode of Sunshine. We hope that we can meet you again. Uh, you are one of the uh, people who are really we are proud of. Uh, and I think, Emil, uh, it is beautiful to have the doctor, is, Walid uh, Ali. Uh, uh, of course, you know, after uh, finishing the segments of episode with Dr. Walid uh, Ali, I think we have, uh, Emil, some nice report. Let's see it yes. uh, about, I, th I think, I think, Emil, it is on uh, home quarantine or something like this. Yes, it is. Thank you very much, Dr. Walid, for being with us. And we have multi-questions more to ask you in the future when you are here.